baby. Hello, nasty. Hello, there. Hello. I say hello. Hello, friend. Well, hello, little girl. Hello, my treacherous friends. Hello, operator. The beginning of everything. Welcome back, my friends. It's showtime. Hey, welcome to episode 298 of The Brink of Sanity. I am Jay, and with me as always is Mark and Bry. Um, I didn't hear the uh, the music, so I'm not starting the show. Okay. <laughs> we'll just have the longest organic opening of all time. <laughs> Jay, yeah, I want you to sing the song, Jay. I don't remember. What, what, how does it even go? I, I got advice from a, a listener on how to fix the audio, so hopefully it'll be back up soon. Oh, okay. Did, was it actually really helpful? It's something that I had tried a while ago, but he gave me like screenshots and step-by-step -step directions. So maybe his instructions will be easier than the ones I was trying to do. Thank you. Awesome listener. You want to give him a shout out on the show? Uh, sure. That was uh, Haggy. Haggy? Haggy? Haggy, Haggy. Okay. Either way, thank you. And sorry okay, for you. Uh, massacring your name. <laughs> um, so this is part two of our two-part brink this week, right? It's 297 and a half. We'll just oh. call it uh, 298. Okay, by the way, the after so goddamn long, they were I, we've been ant-free in this office. The ants are back. This is the third ant I've seen today in the, in the air. We are coming full circle. <laughs> it's, we are. I thought I defeated them. Why we def we had like a last like I guess it was two years ago or last year. Whatever we did, we redid our roof. The ants went crazy and they were all over the bathroom and everywhere. And we defeated them, and now they're the suckers are back. So is I there any way? Is there any way we could like just do a mass like genocide of all these little ants? Like just wipe them off. Can't we just get rid of this species? Yeah. What good do they do really? This is no benefit to humanity. It's just like ticks. They don't do anything either. Yeah, like they they thing on thing on the news. They were like, global warming is killing all the small ants. I'd be like, well, I mean that's a positive about global warming. Good. Standing outside <laughs> with my aerosol spray. Uh, you, you ever see those things like uh, they talk about those commercials where they're like, the elephants are dying or there's not enough tigers left in the world. Mm -hmm. Do you care? Kinda, yeah. I mean, like they they say donate money. I'm like, I feel like there's like they're like cause number three hundred twenty seven on my list of things I donate to. I mean, I think elephants are really cool. I don't want to see elephants die. I don't want to see them die, but, like, I, I don't really see them. I, I don't see them anyway. Like, it's not like I see them anywhere. Outside of, like, on TV. <clears throat> well, don't, don't ruin the suburbs for Jay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just your saying, ants are back. My anxiety is back. Bri, you either need to have your house get rehaunted, or you need to gain another 50 pounds. So we can have be fully regressed to like two years ago i've yeah. got plenty of problems the, the the difference between you and me is i have literally no anxiety if i have probably more problems than you and yeah, i'm just last, like eh, i don't even care last episode bry's like so i had negative three thousand dollars in my bank account i just wanted to see what happened <laughs> yeah not a big deal i couldn't use my other account that actually had money in it but i said who knows let's see what happens the bank charged me 35 dollars per transaction that i screwed up yeah, whatever. I, I could fight that, but I could not. That happened to me when Brian and I went to Cancun. They had an ATM machine, and I didn't know they charged like $10 per withdrawal. And I didn't want to walk around Mexico with a lot of money, so I kept taking out $20 at a time, <laughs> and they were charging me an extra 10 on top of that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so uh, um, I've, I, I've, I, told them, I told you guys off the show that there's a video I wanted you guys to see on the show. Um, and they asked you not to look at social media. I don't know how big if this was a big thing or not because I don't really look at that much social media anyway. Mm -hmm. But do you guys have any idea what video I'm talking about? Um, it's not. It's I not think you're talking about the stupid robot. It's it's a what video game robot? or a video. A video. What what's a robot thing you're talking about? You talk about something about Laurel. You told me what's what's the Laurel thing. Since you said that, I saw that like somewhere else that they mentioned Laurel online. It's it's this audio clip that says Laurel. But yeah. for some reason, other people are hearing a different word. 
I, I forgot what the other word even is. It's it sounds nothing like laurel, and it's not. Oh, it's just like the, uh, like the it's like the, the dress, yeah. Yeah, the dress thing. Right, it, you, laurel or Yanni, and how people are hearing Yanni is beyond me. It's it's not, it's laurel. So I don't know. I, okay. I don't I don't get it. Like you hear a clip, and the guy goes, laurel, and somebody's like, yeah, that says Yanni. I saw a thing on like a. Facebook or some link news thing on Facebook or LinkedIn, they were like, this is taking the internet by storm. Yeah, somebody said if you like speed up and change the pitch, change like the pitch and speed of it, you can hear Yanni, but like that doesn't, why would you do that? I mean, this is the. Okay, that's not even remotely interesting. No, no, uh, it's not. Let's so... move on from that. Okay, so um, I have something that I, I, I feel like it's such a perfect clip and a perfect story for The Brink of Sanity. The Brink of Sanity, the title of the show, was made for this story okay. because this is the end of times. Um, I'm going to send you this story um, via Facebook, and I want you guys to get your reaction. And then, we'll, then you guys can watch the video. Okay. Okay, just sent to both of you guys. I know this is, it will be interesting for the listener, I hope. Okay, so this title, the title of this article is <laughs> Woman Furiously Shits on Floor of Tim Hortons. <laughs> oh, I saw the employees. headline. I didn't see the video. <laughs> throws it at employees. Woman, again, woman furiously shits on the floor of a Tim Hortons, throws it at employees. And they have the full unedited video on here it's they do it in sped up so you can watch it like 30 seconds but it is it is hard to unsee what you what you guys are about to watch uh, i'm watching it right now I'm 10 seconds into it uh so this is like a, a security somebody filming a security cam i guess but it's pretty good quality yeah she's, she's and it's, yelling and at it's some, a, like teenager yeah, apparently she got kicked out earlier for bad behavior so now she's squatting she just dropped the deuce on the floor and there's some pee she picked it up and threw it at the employee. Now she's taking napkins and wiping her butt and throwing <laughs> that at the employee. And she's out. That I is mean, great. everything about this is the most insane shit. First of all, the woman, she no seems like intended. she's... What do you, what did you say? You said no pun intended. You said it's the most yeah, insane yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, no pun, yes. The, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the woman is dressed like a normal... Older adult, like probably in her, was she like probably in her early forties? Um, <laughs> early forties to early fifties, yeah. Uh, yeah, she, something like. Uh, she has like she has like a normal outfit on. It's not like like you expect it to be some homeless woman. It's yeah, a yeah. normal. It, and she has to even she has a shirt tied around her waist. She has to untie the shirt nicely, unties the shirt before she takes her shit on the floor. The first two comments what? are the best. The shitters are getting bolder. <laughs> <laughs> and Horton hears a poo. <laughs> <laughs> there are a bunch of really good ones on there. <laughs> the comments actually are amazing. Uh, but what was the argument? What argument results in you like... And, and also, she, the fact that she was able to shit on the floor. She's so angry and she's like, guess what? I can make a shit on command. Um, well, apparently she got kicked out of uh, for... Have be, having bad behavior the day before. And what bad behavior do you have in a Tim Hortons that you get kicked out in the first place? Well, she's obviously got something wrong with her. Who knows what she did? And for those who don't know, Tim Hortons is like a Dunkin' Donuts. It looks like an upscale Dunkin' Donuts. So it's, it's an upscale. It's a yeah. Canadian. It's a Canadian. Everything in Canada is upscale. Of, it's upscale of an American version. I thought Tim Hortons was supposed to be polite. Well, apparently they're polite, and if you cross them... They take a shit in front of you and throw it at you. Maybe she said sorry after she hit the guy with shit. Do you, I like the fact that she had a, she, she made sure to wipe herself also. Sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, got to keep clean. I know the video also is sped up, but she shot really fast. <laughs> like, it's just like, it just seemed like she had like, she didn't have to like, she, it's like she'd done it before like that. She's like, I lean against the wall and shit all the time. I'm good at this. Uh, I'm a quick shitter. Yeah. She, I, no, I can get in and out from shitting within like one minute. How did the conversation go? Like, uh, my coffee's too warm. If you don't heat this up, I'm gonna shit on the floor. 
Man, you're not going to shit on the floor. I will shit on the floor. No, you're not. Oh, my God. I'll bet you 100 bucks you won't shit on the floor. I'll bet you 100 bucks I will. Someone pointed out also, like, there's no other customers are even reacting to it. <laughs> As if, like, this is what happens at Tim Hortons. <laughs> Tim Hortons, people shit on the floor all the time here. It's part of <laughs> Could you like imagine? Like, <laughs> I like this comment. That's like every Dunkin' Donuts in New England after 10 p.m. <laughs> Jay, I, I want I want to cut to a scene with you interviewing at Tim Hortons. Okay. Uh, uh, so uh, I see uh, you uh, you pass part of the CPA. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you seem like you you might be qualified to work here at Tim Hortons. Um, are you okay with? Uh, can you lift uh, 20, 30 pounds at a time? Yeah, I have no problem with that. Okay. What about, can you dodge fecal matter when it gets thrown at you? Excuse me? Part of the job involves, um, you have to be lift 20 to 30 pounds at a time because you yeah, have to like, restock yeah. shelves. Yeah, I'm good um, with that part. Yeah, yeah, you have to be able to do basic math on taking change. Not a problem. And sometimes, and sometimes customers will take a shit on the floor and throw it at you. Is that, is that fine? You, you just said shit on the floor. Yes, fecal matter, sorry. Your customers, customers will use... Yeah, it's very common here at Tim Hortons for customers to hurl their own fecal matter um, when they're upset, or if they sometimes when they sometimes they like to do it for like if they if they really like the donut you gave them, sometimes they'll do it as a, as a way of like showing thanks. This is like a, a donut and coffee shop, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a donut and coffee shop where we're an international chain, we're worth billions of dollars, um, and yeah, and part of our business is allowing customers to throw fecal matter at our employees like kind of like when you when you sit on the thing and they they throw the ball at, at the uh <laughs> the dunk the tank. Dunk, dunk tank. it's kind of like a dunk tank but it's fecal matter and it's at your face and it's not for charity <laughs> <laughs> there's I, no winning oh i'm sorry i'm the assistant manager i, I, <laughs> but, yeah. I feel like in the job description that, that should have been a bullet point oh we we tend to you know we leave that off the ad because we find that when we put that in the ad we get no applicants yeah, no duh. Yeah, um, but uh, we don't worry. We pay minimum wage, but uh, and you get fecal matter. All the fecal matter you can. Oh, we, and we have free Wi-Fi that you can use. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, well, free Wi-Fi. I, um, leftover I leftover position. donuts are all yours. Mm-hmm. Um, leftover bagels are yours. Um, two-day-old coffee. And uh, do you have any problem cleaning up the fecal matter after it gets hurled at you? That that might be a slight issue. Do I do I get okay. a squeegee? Um, you have to bring your own rubber gloves. <laughs> can, um, I, can I use that as a, t- a tax deduction? Well, you're the accountant. You tell us. Actually, yeah, Mister CPA. Maybe you, if you pass all four parts, you wouldn't be having fecal math thrown at you. <laughs> you, you can. <laughs> Maybe that'll actually. motivate you. <laughs> you can actually. Do you think you would have passed the CPA faster if people were hurling fecal matter at you at work? <laughs> or during the exam? Itemized deduction. Plastic gloves to carry fecal matter out of the premises. I wonder if this will make it Jay's anxiety worse. Fecal matter getting thrown at him at work. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be an improvement at my job. Oh, shit. I got to get this reported. They're going to hurt. They're going to hurl. They're going to hurl the shit at me. You mean, what, what do you mean? Things are going to go, they're going to get mad at you? No, they're going to throw, they're going to take shit in front of me and throw it at me at work. No, my manager's literally shitting in her hand right now. I have like two minutes. You know, it'd be great also if you found out like that was the third shit she'd taken at her place place that day. <laughs> like she got, she, she went to the dry cleaner, took a shit at the dry cleaner. She, she has like a root. Yeah. McDonald's, she took a shit like, she's like, Happy Meal, I'll show you Happy Meal. <laughs> I feel like that's the, uh, I mean, the show could almost, like, end on that story. We're never going to do a story that's more, like, perfect for the show. Yeah, that is definitely the definition of a Brink show. A housewife took a shit, I'm assuming she's a housewife, whatever, took a shit on the floor. Do um, you think she's single? Mm, Probably not. A catch like that? Yeah. Jay, let me ask you. So, let's just say you were single, um, and... There's a girl. She's uh, she's Asian because I know you love Asians. Mm-hmm. Um, she's super hot, really smart, makes a lot of money. Um, but you also like you go on a couple dates with her. Then you find this video of her online taking a shit at Tim Hortons and throwing it at the employees. Do you still go out with her? Oh man, I'd be so torn. Yeah, no, she's very hot. 
She makes a lot of money. Um, but she gets a, and she has a tendency to shit on the floor and throw it at people. That that might be a deal breaker. I mean, it, it's all well and good in, until she gets mad at you, right? It's true. Okay. Well, what if uh, she's hot and Asian? What if she she throws she takes a shit throws on throws it at people? You find the video, and she also has a peg leg. But that you just made the scenario worse. <laughs> <laughs> what if and then underneath her Asian exterior, she's actually a monkey <laughs> with rabies, with rabies. <laughs> and she's gonna bite you. <laughs> now, are, making, now are you in on this? Just keep making the scenario worse and worse. <laughs> uh, uh, Andrew also sent us an article about a new style of jeans, which is basically just the outline of jeans. And they're one hundred and sixty dollars. So I saw it when Andrew sent us, and there's another one besides this one. And so the one you were talking about is je- like instead of just having holes in the jeans, the jeans are basically it's like Freddy Krueger, like just just tore your jeans up and you're still wearing them, and you're paying one hundred sixty dollars, one hundred sixty dollars, right? Yes. So there's another one where the uh, I saw where the only holes are on the butt, the lower butt. So it's like a butthole, but so, not like so in the middle. Like- so not your like the, ass cleavage sorry. sticks out of the... Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's not like a hole so you can like take an equal... It, it's not a convenient hole for shitting at Tim Hortons. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just... It's not just yet. Butt, not yet. It's butt cleavage. Mm. I mean, also expensive. But like. Well, of course. I mean, less is more nowadays, right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe we should have for the brink. We should we should design our own jeans and sell them. Brink assless chaps. Br- brink ass, yeah. The brink ass is the uh, what's when we do with, the, with random ass? We do call it the brink the the uh, the brink of ass. Brink of ass, yeah. The brink of ass jeans. Maybe that'll be our, our big product. Brink of ass jeans. <laughs> I'll I'll get on that right as uh, as soon as I finish selling those shirts. It could be any worse of an idea than your pens. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, are we going to do the, uh, should we, should we jump to the questions instead of saving them for the last minute and not doing them on the show? Yeah, I thought that's what we were doing. <laughs> no, I just wanted to do that story because I thought the story was amazing. Um, Jason writes, this is Facebook. Uh, America withdrew from the Iran nuclear deal. Wow, Trump is so amazing. I'm glad Mark is just a white guilt Jew who secretly voted for Trump. Our, our listeners know this is supposed to be a comedy show. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's also a question. Uh, it, well, it's questions or topics. This is a topic, I believe. Um, I am not a huge fan of uh, Trump withdrawing from the Iran nuclear deal. I feel like that was... You probably want to like try to keep them from having a nuclear weapon instead of just saying, okay, now do whatever you want. How come done. we never have to get rid of our nuclear weapons? I don't know. You because know what they... are insane. And everybody else that. has to, except for us. So apparently, uh, John... You know who John Bolton is? He's an oh, hour... Yeah. Mustache ride. Yeah, mustache guy. So he's like the – is he Secretary of Defense now? What, what position does he have? Secretary of State. Secretary, oh, Secretary of State. Um, anyway, he's fucking crazy, and he wants to invade every country. And so apparently he's been saying that the, uh, with North Korea, we should, do the, we should denuclearize them just like we did with Libya. He's using Libya as the example continually. And Libya in 2003, after we invaded Iraq, Libya was like, fuck, we're scared. We'll give up our nuclear weapons so the United States doesn't kill us all. The only problem with this was ten years later, eight years later, when they had the uh, the uprisings in a uh, in the Middle East, we helped take out Libya, and their only protection they would have had was having a nuclear weapon, <laughs> and they got rid of that, and Gaddafi died, and they're like, "This is the example for you, North Korea. We want you to get rid of your weapons, and a couple years later, we're probably going to kill you." <laughs> but at least you'll have no defense when we do it. This is how they're negotiating. This is how this is how they negotiate. They're like. First of all, remember that deal we made with Iran? We just ripped it up. It doesn't even matter to us. But North Korea, you could totally trust us. And the deal we're putting in front of you is a deal where you die in a couple of years. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so that's, uh, so that's something. <laughs> and also uh, on a different, new note, uh, different news note, uh, Jared Kushner, his son-in-law, they, he owns some – Building 666 Madison uh, Avenue or Fifth Avenue, which is a, apparently it's been like a giant cl- uh, disaster because they can't uh, they can't get enough they can't rent enough of it to uh, pay the mortgage. Um, Saudi Arabia is bailing them out on the uh, on the building, which seems a little sketchy. 
Why? Just because they orchestrated 9-11? <laughs> it's just weird that, like, uh, Saudi Arabia suddenly is bailing Jerry, um, Tr- Tr- Donald Trump's son-in-law out. They're like, we'll buy the lower floors. He. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. apparently uh, they own some company, Brookfield ba- Asset Management, and they're going to do this big deal to basically bail Jared Kushner out. And there's nothing shady about it at all. But uh, Saudi know. Arabia, they're not taking bribe from Saudi Arabia or anything like that. So. Uh, <laughs> they they Jason won't Wright. be indebted to Saudi Arabia at all. Yeah, no, not at all. Not, just because he's doing a giant hundreds of millions of dollars, basically $500 million to Jared Kushner, Trump's, Trump's son-in-law, that's not a bribe. That's just Saudi Arabia thinks it's a good investment. That's all. <laughs> This is a building that apparently, like, at least like, ha- like a third to a half of the building is just unoccupied. Is it because but, it's 666 and people are scared that, like, Satan owns the building? I bet that's how. It. Yeah, yeah. How the hell does Donald Trump's son-in-law own Satan's building and no one even makes a big deal about that? How the hell are we in the 21st century and people are still scared of a number? Uh, yeah. I mean, I work people- on the 14th floor, which should be the 13th floor, but people are... Scared of the number thirteen. Most buildings have that because no one wants to. No one wants to be on floor thirteen. It's so stupid. It's just a number. It makes no sense. Mm-hmm. I, I I'm not s- majorly superstitious, but I think the number thirteen screws me up a little bit. Like I'm, I have been at my current job. This is my thirteenth year at my current job, and I feel like this is the year everything's gonna go, go poorly. I don't have it in my back of my mind. Not majorly superstitious, but it's like little like I don't I don't love the number thirteen. I wouldn't want to live on the thirteenth floor. Yeah, but you've been conditioned to fear number thirteen. Yeah, I've been conditioned to do everything. I've been conditioned to take showers. Like, I'm, well, I'm no, in society. You don't like stinking. I, mean, I, I, if, if, I if think somebody I would, said I think, you don't have to take showers ever again, you'd still take showers. I probably would do them less often. Well, yeah. I think I've been I've been conditioned by society to do things a certain amount, like to like to think I need to shave for work. Like, it's just society conditioning me. Yeah. I, I, I shave once a week. I don't care. I mean, who would wear a suit if they weren't conditioned? The dumbest outfit you could possibly wear is a suit. Like a tie? Like, why would you wear that? I'm going to hang, like... I, you know what's going to really make this outfit look really good? If I hang a piece of cloth off my neck. I wear a tie like, today. You have an interview? No. But when I do, nobody will know because I wear it <laughs> every Thursday. Every every Thursday is tie day. Yep. Do you? Because, do people ask you? What's, what's going on? What's go? What's going on, Panic Boy? Tie Thursdays. Oh. Tie Thursdays. So when it turns into interview Thursdays, nobody will know. Um. What? What can we schedule this interview? I, I've can been doing this for months. <laughs> can we? Can we have you in on a Wednesday? It's Thursday. It can only come in on a Thursday. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna freak out if I get a Wednesday interview because <laughs> I've been it, <laughs> I've been planning this out for months. Oh my god! Why don't you just do a tie every day? What am I crazy? Ties suck. Ties really mm-hmm. suck. I don't know why. Like I, I feel like ties are just like women like somehow like getting back at men for something. I hate <laughs> ties. I hate them. No one likes ties. What the, what the fuck was like a tie? <laughs> I don't know how to match a tie. People are like that matches. I'm like I don't fucking know what matches. Like it's just... uh, I don't even know how to tie a tie. My ties are all pre-tied. I, I did that until uh, until I started this this ruse and it was too. Uh... It was too difficult to keep it like that, but I, I, I had a tie that was tied from like high school, and I just wore that one every single occasion because it was. Pre-tied. That's what I do. Yeah. You both really don't know how to tie a tie. Oh, Brian, you don't know how to tie a tie. I couldn't tie. If you offered me ten thousand dollars in cash to tie a tie, I couldn't tie a tie. Then you're not gonna do well in the next bit in the show. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, dog didn't like ties either. Dog didn't like ties either. Um, Jay, you know how to tie a tie, right? Well, now I do. I I've been doing this for a few months. Sorry, animal abuse. <laughs> no, that's okay. We're, we're, we're totally fine with that in the show. Okay. Um, Brian, you really don't know? No. I, I, I'm telling you, if I couldn't do it for cash. I mean, haven't you been to enough weddings and like things, events where you had to wear one? Hmm. You would think so. No, it's, like it's, I said, I just lift them out over my head. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's the pre-tied thing. I did that for yeah. decades. Yeah. So basically, who ties it for you? Uh, I think my dad probably tied it for me the last time I wore one. That's what I did. I had my dad tie one for me in high school, and then I pulled, <laughs> I pulled it over my neck for the next twenty years. Yeah. Holy shit! I mean, it's not really that complicated. <laughs> it's not like you have to solve a Rubik's cube. It's just like a couple loops. Well, I didn't know how. <laughs> 
Look it up <laughs> online. The internet's been around for 20 freaking years. Look the shit up. I get better if you put look. a gun to my head and said, tie a tie, I'd be dead. It'd be the <laughs> worst crime ever. <laughs> I mean, when this why, movie... why'd, why'd you kill him? I mean, he could tie a tie. I, I, I put the gun to him. He said he wouldn't do it, so I just shot him. Anyway. I mean, when there's all these naked girls on the internet, why am I going to look up videos on how to tie a tie? <laughs> yeah. I, I, maybe we start a website where naked girls teach people how to tie ties. Maybe that would be like – maybe like you just have a, videos where naked women teach you how to do all the basic things in life that you do, they should know how to do. Like they give you videos on how to ride a bike, how to like tie your shoelaces. I think that's a great idea. I think there's a huge market for <laughs> – Brian and I might actually learn how to do basic human things. <laughs> I mean I'd be like, honey, I'm just learning. God. <laughs> Um. Yeah. So let's do this. Who, who likes this business? Who wants to invest? We're now we're 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 taking seed capital. Some of our listeners, you want to invest? Are naked women teaching us how to be adult men? <laughs> <laughs> how to? I mean, like just everything. What else can we have in the videos about how to vacuum? How to? Uh, laundry. Uh, how, La- definitely laundry. How to, how to do laundry? How to? Uh, I'd watch a naked to, cooking show. Yeah, how to write in cursive. How to uh, how to how to how to give a like a correct how to figure out a tip in your head. Naked uh, CPA tutorial. I, yeah, that would be that would be pretty good. Yeah, the what, what, what we call it, like naked school. How to naked. How to naked. Okay, you. you Jay, you want to buy the website, and we can ask a. Uh, uh, Brian, you want to find the naked girl? Oh, that might be tough. I'm not good at finding naked girls. <laughs> we we're just gonna have one girl that does every single video. I guess we could just put an ad on Craigslist, and then we could, I'm sure like naked women will show up that way. Just just say we're legit. <laughs> <laughs> we should look at that. I think I think this is up. This idea is up there with the uh, the brunchaholics. Yeah, I think I think we could make some money off of it. What's the better idea, brunch brunchaholics or naked tutorials? I think naked tutorials. Would we have like a versions of it that like have like the uh, the nipples blocked out so we can show it on YouTube? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's probably still an audience for that. Yeah, that would probably be pretty good. Naked tutorials. How's that? Yeah, I was just doing it because there's a, a YouTube channel called How To Basic. That's why I said How To Naked. Oh. Do they have on at How To Basic, do they have How To, how to Tie a Tie? I think so. Oh, you fucking learn already. Uh, <laughs> well, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's insane, insane videos. He, he makes the image and the description sound like he's going to actually teach you something, and then it's just complete insanity. It's the funniest channel. Oh, like what, what does he do? Uh, most of it is him just like dest- uh, destroying food and screaming and uh, uh, trashing his apartment. It's it's hilarious. Uh, okay, well, I'll check it out. So you do you think our our significant others would be okay with this channel? I think they would object at first, and then when it started bringing in all the Benjamins, <clears throat> they'd be fine with it. Would they still be in our lives by the time we actually got to that point? We'll probably never get to that point. So. <laughs> All their other ventures seem to work out really well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can, so can any of the listeners, uh, Stephen, if you're out there, just give us feedback on this idea. I think this idea is a pretty good one, uh, Naked yeah. Tutorials. Okay, uh, Jason writes, Jason, please, please buy a house. It will bring a lot more funny content to the podcast. <laughs> working like, on it's it. A fair, it's a fair point. Yeah, working on it. <laughs> Um, by the way, if you if you really want to uh, to send your anxiety to the roof, that would be uh, the number one way to do it is buying a house. I think I'd be so happy. I I don't understand why you think why don't you just move to somewhere else and just try it try living anywhere else besides where you are now before you buy a house. Literally every person I know has a shitty neighbor. Pride, you have a shitty neighbor? Oh uh, yeah. See, uh, every single person. <laughs> Pride, what's wrong with your neighbor? Um, I, well, actually, well, I, the cut, the unit next to me was empty for like a year and a half and a guy just moved in. So he's not, I don't even really know him. He's just there. So that makes him shitty. Cause I, I had nobody <laughs> next door to me for like uh, almost two years. 
Yeah. So Bray Bryant's definition of a shitty neighbor um, is he's not so good. It's just existing. Yeah. So that's not the best. Uh... <laughs> Jay, you know you're gonna have still have neighbors again. You're gonna still have neighbors in the suburbs. How far away your, is your house gonna be from the other, the next house? Unless you buy a farm. I mean, that's really your only. Uh... Well, no. Unless I'm you... gonna I'm gonna line the border with trees so I can't see them. Trees don't grow that, overnight. That's not cheap either. And I don't know if you're allowed to. Oh, you're. Like, there's like there's laws that like the zoning laws that might prevent you from like lining your property with trees. Yeah, you got to get an assessor. I can get free trees. You, you have to get an like, assessor to get the board to get the you, uh, your property line. I've never heard anyone go. I, I can get free trees. I have a I have a connection. You have a con- when you say trees, get, are you talking about weed? No, I can get <laughs> I can get thirty free trees tomorrow. What the fuck are you talking about? I have a tree you, connection. You do not have a tree connection. You're just, you're, do, you're, just have... bragging, you're you're making up. You're just doing a bit right now. No, I, I, I didn't even think you could have a tree connection. I have a tree connection. What what is your tree connection? Do you want me to reveal my sources? No, I want this bit to die. Just tell me what this does. <laughs> tell me what the hell you're talking about. I, I, I know somebody trees. who does who does um, an event like a party thing for a rich person, and they order like hundreds of trees for this event and then get rid of them. And um, so this, this person, p- by the way, who does the event? Is this your girlfriend who does catering? Uh, no. Okay, go on. It's one of her friends who does catering. And, okay. And so um, she she is allowed to like take all the trees and do what she wants with them. So what kind of, when you say trees, like, are you, t- like, how big are they? Like 10 foot trees. Ten foot trees. Yeah, they just bring in ten foot trees for this like Hundr- hundreds of them. Hundred. So I can line I... my entire yard with them for free. Do they? Of, it's of the house you don't have yet. Yeah, yeah of course. But uh, it's just like are they are they re- are they reenacting Hansel and Gretel in their backyard? I don't know what they're doing. All I know is that I have I have a tree connection. But so you you get to take, so the company brings the trees, mm-hmm. the, the tree company, and by the way. But wait, doesn't this prove that like we should have income de- uh, redistribution? Yes. Like that's just going on. Like these people have too much money. Yes, absolutely. There's no good reason that you should be able to have like trees on demand. Just but and then, uh, and then for one day and then to get rid of them. But uh, so what happens to the trees? So the, does the company take the trees back or nope. like? She, so they're kind of like just like place settings at a wedding where like you can just take that home with you. Yeah. So has no she ever fun. taken a tree home with her? Yeah. How do you bring a tree home? Like in what? Like your tree van? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't thought that part through. I just know I can get the trees. Um, sir, can you does your your vans for uh, moving stuff? Can you uh can you haul a tree or about <laughs> ten of them? You, you take a tree in an Uber home. <laughs> do, do, you get a be, you, you know how to bury a tree? I mean, you got a shovel, Jay? Yeah, well, I, I can get a shovel. I get a shovel connection. <laughs> home Depot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you try to use this tree connection like with like at work be like, "Hey, how many trees for promotion?" <laughs> you want trees? I know a guy. I mean, I, I get you trees. I'm just, I'm just, I can get you trees. Cuz it really sounds like you're talking about drugs, not actual trees. Right, yeah. Well, it's it's real trees. <laughs> why don't you get why don't you get a tree for your apartment? Do you have 10 foot ceilings? Mm. Maybe. Isn't there like that area outside where you're not supposed to go into the? Uh... Yeah, why don't we just make a forest in there? Yeah, the, like it looks out. You like what's I that? Like, what's I that? have like a courtyard in between buildings. Courtyard, but you're not allowed to go into the courtyard. But right? I'm not allowed to go in the courtyard. But wouldn't it be funny if just in the middle of the night I just filled it up with a forest? Holy shit, that'd be amazing. Why <laughs> can't you go in the? Why can't you go in the courtyard? I'm not allowed in my courtyard or my backyard. I don't know. I'm just it's, not allowed. It, to, I'm only allowed in rooms that have black mold. It's it's uh when his when his when he got the apartment his broker said look there's a backyard and a courtyard you can go into it all you want and the broker was a fucking lying was a lying piece of shit yes that's exactly what happened uh, he's like yeah you have a private backyard uh, you have this courtyard and then the first day I'm like uh, hey the door to the uh, backyard's locked and I'm like yeah it's because you're not allowed in it I'm like that was the reason I got this apartment well, where the <laughs> hell am I gonna put my tree now <laughs> um. Could you just bring like get trees and leave them like throughout? Like just leave them like in the in the middle of the night. Leave trees all over your block. <laughs> Put them in the middle of the street. 
<laughs> Just leave trees around. You can be the tree man. The tree man hits again. <laughs> They'll never find you. <laughs> They'll never find you hauling your 10-foot tree. <laughs> <laughs> Officer, it's not what you think. I'm running down the street covered in pine needles. Wasn't me. <laughs> Dragging your tree behind you really slowly. <laughs> You know, this is the only tree I have. I don't know who, wh where the 30 other trees came from. This is my only tree. No, no. I, it makes maple syrup. I like maple syrup. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, Jason writes, guys, have you ever felt you have been... By the way, Jay, why do you have anxiety in your life when you uh, can get trees for free? Trees are relaxing. <laughs> because I'm in a forest where you could just go and, you know... I have anxiety because I can't save all the trees right now. I have to wait until I get a house. Hi, is this American Express? I know I owe some money. Do you take payment in form of tree? Can I pay you in trees? <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not. It's not like a. Uh, it's not a cryptocurrency. It's uh, no actual trees. So. <laughs> uh, you, can you pay your rent in trees? Hmm. You should. Uh, is there? Where do you bring your rent to? He shows up at my door. Okay, so why next time he comes to your door, just have a tree waiting for him at the door? <laughs> and he's like, "Hey, I, I, I got you this. Uh, this is the tree where money grows." You, should, you know what you actually do? You should so get you should say to him, "No, no, right." What? What were you gonna say? I said you should say, "This is the here. This is the tree. Money grows from it." No, here's the best thing you should do. You should start giving people tr tr um, trees as presents, like the worst present ever. <laughs> <laughs> At work, you should be like, hey, you've been a really good boss. Here's a tree. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I going to do with this? It's a present. Don't like get mad at me. I gave you a present. You have a tree now. <laughs> Take the tree with you. <laughs> Don't invite Jay to any parties. He's going to give you a tree. Hey, ex-girlfriend. Thanks for the recommendation of those drugs to take uh, that help my anxiety. Here's a tree. I know you live in New York City in a, in a small studio, but uh, here's a tree. <laughs> If I won the lotto, I could afford to get those trees delivered, too. That'd be amazing. I just... Hey, like, oh, oh, thanks for those pills that almost murdered me. Um, <laughs> you have 40 trees coming to your house tomorrow. Hey, mailman. Um, I really appreciate all your uh, delivering the mail. Here's a tree. Take it back with you on your route. <laughs> uh, Jason writes, Guys, have you ever felt you have been scammed by doctors? Um... If he's, has he been listening to the show or <laughs> tree? Wait, wait. If scammed by tree doctors, I uh, yeah, Jay, tree doctor. Yeah. Um, have you ever felt like the doctors are fucking with you with their anxiety treatments? Um, no, not really. Actually, I have to say, I I've, I've gone to the doctor at least a couple times. Like I once I had to get a uh, had, I was having surgery, minor surgery, but I had to do like a full physical before they do the surgery, and the guy was just like. Hey, I see something in your heart here. I have to send you for a full cardio, grand, whatever the full heart analysis. I go through this whole big thing, which I'm sure he billed out like 50 grand to the insurance company. Mm -hmm. I come back and the guy's like, oh, it looks fine. I was like, you didn't fucking see anything before, but I can't read that. So I don't know if you're lying, but I'm sure you didn't see anything. You just wanted to be like, oh, I need some more money. I'll send you to, I'll send you to my buddy who's, who does – cardiological stuff and you will split the money yeah that's the problem there are a lot of doctors who do stuff like that he's like it doesn't give me a reason he goes i just see something here well what do you see there should i be worried i see something you could be this vague and you make a lot of money i see dollar bills, I see <laughs> dollar bills. that's exact. that that was i the insurance company paid that bill so it wasn't really like me getting scam but i felt like i was like part of some giant scam there yeah well, Brian, I, I feel a little scammed because um, my my dentist retired, so my coworker referred me to this other dentist, and I guess he chose the good dental plan at my job, so it didn't matter to him. But I oh. chose the crappy dental plan, and now I owe my dentist one thousand dollars. You mean you mean the cheapest dental plan? Yes. <laughs> oh, that was a good deal. What? Uh, why do you owe him a thousand? Did you have a the bunch of procedures like? I had a, a couple fillings. Give him a tree. I had a couple. <laughs> I had a couple fillings, but I think they're super overpriced. Like I need a um, a crown, and they're like, "Oh yeah, a crown's like twenty two hundred dollars." So I'm like, I think I think a, I think a crown is expensive though. Uh, yeah, but my girlfriend says it shouldn't be more than like 
four or five hundred. Um, so I, I'm not going to get a crown. Oh, I so why just go to a different dentist? I'm going to have to, but I have to wait now until next year until my health insurance. Like I can only change my um, health insurance once a year. Well, if it's going to cost you, uh, how much out of pocket is going to cost you? Every single penny. Twenty two hundred dollars. Yeah. Why don't you just call around to other dentists and go? I don't have insurance. How much would this cost? Maybe I don't have insurance. Uh, yeah, I just went to the dentist last week. I haven't had dental insurance in like ten years. They just uh, it cost me. Actually, I just got the bill. It was like one hundred and sixty for just the. And then they, a... they know I don't have insurance, so they don't give me X rays all the time. So. Yeah, I, I was for a long time. I now I'm on. My wife has. I have dental now through my wife's my wife's work. But I used to like for a decade I did not have dental either. And I did the same thing. I'd pay for it. And I had to do something. It was like a crown, but different. And the guy was just like, it'll be $800. Yeah, I'm just going to wait until I either switch jobs or it's next year and I actually pick the good dental plan. And, okay. and I'm going to go somewhere else who doesn't charge four times the market value of whatever it is. It's a problem also with like the, all the doctors, and like just dense, all this stuff. is. It's hard to really shop around because you don't really know who's good at their job also. You don't know who's yeah. good and you also don't know the prices. It's not like you can price shop. Yeah. Like you, and you call, you're like, how much does this cost? They're like, I don't know. I just do this and get paid for it. How am I supposed to know? You're like, <laughs> what the fuck don't you know this? They're like, like you're well, we won't know until we get in there and look at it. Yeah. We have to talk to the insurance company. The insurance company, I don't know what they do. They just guess on the price. There's just no way to figure out the price. I think because this dentist is like an attractive blonde woman, like I think she just charges quadruple, and guys don't complain. <laughs> now, What's Jay, your name? I want to go. I need to go to the dentist. Jay, I'll show some more cleavage. You'll pay the twenty two hundred dollars. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like a lot of the doctor stuff though is such scams. I, re I really feel like because you can't find out the prices and you can't price shop, it's in a market like you have no idea. It's it's not like I go like the, I'm like they. Like the, Repu like the Republicans in Congress will or, or act like you can shop for like health insurance and like medical care, like you're shopping for detergent. It's completely fucking different. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not like a, oh, I need a echocardiogram. Uh, let me just go to like echocardiogram eBay and find out how much it is. Yeah, there are certain things like a like if you were to get a uh, like a like a replacement hip. Which hopefully none of what no one in our age is not doing. I think my like, girlfriend just had a hip replacement. Oh, there! How much? There you go. How much uh, does a hip replacement cost? Any idea? Um, she had to pay her whole deductible. It cost her like five grand. But do you know how much the insurance company paid? Maybe you don't know. <sighs> she showed me her bills a couple of times, but I you can't fucking I can't understand medical it was, bills. It yeah. was probably in the no tens sense. of thousands. Yeah, I think something like that costs like sixty, seventy thousand yeah. dollars. I think you can go to like. Thailand, say, and get it done for like five grand. Yeah, it's it's cheaper to actually buy a plane ticket to Thailand and a hotel and stay there the whole time and get the procedure done than it is to like just do it here. It's not even it's not even so much like like how much it costs. Like like you can ask the doctor how much it's going to cost or how much you know your insurance is going to cover it. But it's like it's just all this bait and switch nonsense because like she got a bill like she got a bill from her doctor. Then she got a bill from the surgery center. Then she got a bill from the anesthesiologist. Then she got a bill for her doctor for the follow-up. And then she got a bill for physical therapy. And like you, Jay, she picked the shittiest health insurance plan. So she had like like the cheapest. So she had a super high deductible. So actually, I think her deductible was 10000 I think she had to pay the whole thing. Nice. Um, but, um, but, but what ended up happening was she hit her deductible and then – for the rest of the year, she got like everything, all of her uh, medical stuff was free. So she was like f refilling prescriptions, like she was a drug addict. Like, all she, she gave me a whole bottle of like some pain pills because she just kept getting them refilled because it wasn't costing her anything. Yeah, yeah. Well, I remember when I, uh, when my son was born, my wife, uh, she had good insurance and like we didn't pay that much. And then like she switched jobs and my daughter was born, the insurance was just shittier. And I remember we got a bill for like, for my wife, for her care. Then we got a bill for my daughter's care. Like my daughter being, like it was a bill for her giving birth and a bill for the daughter being born. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, how is that separate? It's, it's, it, how is that? It's the same fucking, they're both, it's the same patient, okay? Well, you came in one person and left with two, so. <laughs> we charge you both. Yeah. But um, that's how they get you, all that, like, you know, the surgery center, the anesthesiologist, this, the that, and. Well, that's, a, going back to the Thailand thing, like, uh, so medical tourism, that was a big thing. It used to be, uh, 
people would go from like less developed countries to the U.S. to get like major surgeries, but now it's the other way. Like people are going to are basically going to Thailand or going to anywhere else, Costa Rica or anywhere else to get like procedures that are just like so much cheaper elsewhere. Yeah, my girlfriend's yeah. from Thailand, and she said the dental work is actually really good over there, and it's much cheaper. So like all her friends basically wait until they need dental work and then go home to visit and just get a bunch of dental work done. I mean, you might as well also, like, I know the U.S., you can get really good care here, but, like, is the care that much better than anywhere else for most for most things? Well, that, and if you don't have really good insurance, it's, like, unaffordable. Yeah, I think they say, like, like as far as, like, on statistics, like, as far as developed nations, we do the worst on a lot of categories. Mm-hmm. We're, one of the, we're, we're middle to end to late in the pack and a lot, like, I think on... Uh, how like long how long you live on uh i don't know a lot a lot of categories clearly <laughs> education yeah clearly clearly education um eros writes mark how would your life be if you did not have children what you think you would be doing um i feel like my life would be different because i would have uh, a lot more time to do break with you guys <laughs> <laughs> we could start earlier uh, yeah, yeah. You, guys thought, you, guys, you guys wouldn't be like annoyed as hell every time you're like, what the fucking start? Like, I've been home for two hours. Uh, Jay, remember that short time when we did a, the, um, we did the show when I didn't have kids? It was so nice. It was like, start at seven, done by eight. Like, yeah. It was really nice. Yeah, no, I completely fucked you guys. Uh, yeah, let me see. Like, I would have, I definitely would have more money because I spend a lot of money on my kids. I, I wonder what I would do if I didn't have kids. Like, uh, I have so much free time. Like, I, I like have so much free time. Yeah, I, I don't even know what I do with myself. I'd probably get a different job. I feel like I feel like maybe I'd move to a different part of the country. I'd do more traveling. I don't know. What would you guys do if you didn't have kids? <laughs> Same thing I'm doing now. <laughs> I'd uh, I'd study for the CPA and have daily panic attacks. <laughs> <laughs> what if we threw a kid in there, Jay? What if we had a during your while you're studying for the CPA and uh, your daily panic attacks? What if there's a kid screaming the whole time? I mean, at this point, like, what am I going to do? Have, like, panic attacks every day? Like, what what else can happen? Yeah, that's why I don't understand, like, you you resist taking drugs for this because, like you said, there's going to be side effects. What could the side effect be? Well, a lot of the side effects are worse panic attacks, and I'm so worried about having worse panic attacks that I don't want. I don't even want to risk it. I'm telling you that one day I was on that other drug, like, it was top five anxiety attack of my entire life. My uh, boss walked in in the middle of it, and she's like, "You're pale. What the hell is going on?" That uh, comedy show, like, folks. I uh, I feel like if I didn't, you know, one thing I would be kind of cool. I feel like to do if I didn't have kids, um, I would go like go to another nation, like go in, go somewhere else in the world and like work for a while, mm-hmm. like live somewhere else, like internationally. That'd be kind of cool. Um. Uh, Eris writes, I watched Marvel Black Panther yesterday. What an overrated movie. It was a six at best. Uh, people like Mark said it deserves an Oscar, so they won't call him racist. Heard Infinity Wars was amazing, though. Those are the only two I have not seen yet. Really? I feel like, I feel like you'd be like all, all, all aboard, all, like, all about that. Which one? Infinity Wars? I know both of them. I don't know. Don't you like, like love these movies? I do, but... Um... I don't know. Yeah, don't you only always talk about comic books? <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> you know the the big movies came out the, of the things you love. Yeah, last weekend it was like Friday, and my girlfriend and I were like, "Hey, let's Sunday, let's go watch Infinity War." And then at like four in the afternoon, I turned to her, I was like, "Oh shit, we for- the only thing we had to line up today was go to the movies, and we forgot to do it." So uh, I'll try again this weekend. Um. Oh, I, I wanted to t- wanted to bring this up on the show. Small kid thing. Do you know what my son's? Uh, can you guess what my son's favorite song is? You probably aren't going to guess it, but uh, no, probably not. Jay, you want to guess? Is it a, a new song? It's actually a really old song. Like really old. His favorite song. You don't have to guess. His favorite song right now is the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that. I'm glad does you cut he, that. Does he short. stand for it or does he kneel uh, he, for it? He likes to sing it. We uh, we practice like do like one of the things we do, we like do like I, I do writing with him to like so we work on his penmanship and like 
one thing you gotta do with kids like work on their writing and like he wanted to rewrite the whole Star Spangled Banner you should introduce him to something else because it's not really objectively it's not even a good song no I don't think no one thinks it's good no one goes around thinking that I, I, I don't even most of the words in the song Spangled have you ever used the word Spangled you know what's annoying about the National Anthem when you go to like a sporting event and people like mouth along to it mm-hmm you know what's what's annoying when you go to a sporting event and they play it? Well, that too, but yeah, they could just do away with it. I mean, oh, yeah, well, actually, my son really loves it, so he'll probably next time we go to a sporting event, he'll probably think it's the best part of the event. But uh, it's like, hey, you guys are all here for a fun sporting event. Let's have a song about war first. <laughs> I I can replace it with my country tis of Yeah, I feel like almost every country's national anthem is catchier and better than ours. How about the song from Team America? Yeah, America. Fuck yeah! That I feel like that would be Donald Trump could like lead us in that one. <laughs> Why not just like uh, a good Billy Joel song? Which one? Is there a good Billy Joel song? I actually kind of love Billy Joel. I, I know, I know. I, obviously, Brian, you would hate Billy Joel, but uh, I'm a big fan. <laughs> I mean, we need to start the fire. Innocent it's man. A good song. It's about the only song I know. Innocent man. Why not? Innocent nation. Uh, the uh, but yeah, the, I, he actually was like, he's like, Dad, I think it's Star Spangled Banner, not Star Spangled Banner. And I was like, Is he right? I had to look that up. I had to double check. <laughs> I was like, Here, no, it's, it's Spangled. You're, you're wrong. I, just, it's like, I, I knew it was Spangled. I, after all these years. <laughs> um, the uh. The Black Mar- the uh, Black Panther. Uh, I've heard I've heard the opposite. I heard Black Panther was better than uh, Infinity War. Mm, I might watch both this weekend, so I'll let you guys know next week. You so tell me you, tell me if like if I if you watch if if I have no real background in this, tell me if I, w- I would like them, or do I need to have watched the other movies? I feel like um, from what I've heard, you don't need to watch anything else to see Black Panther. You probably want to watch a couple of the movies to watch Infinity. You know what, actually, I taped, I was on a, one of the channels, maybe TNT or TBS or something, I taped and I started watching, I watched like, the first 20 minutes of Deadpool, actually mm-hmm. last night. Um, it was, I watched it, like, I think at halftime of the basketball game, I was like, oh, let me watch some Deadpool, and I like, watched it for a little bit. Does it, did the entire time he just, like, fights crime and makes, like, shitty one-liners? Yeah. That's, I mean, that's the whole movie? It, it's, it's, it's really funny. Um, I, he's you're not lines gonna, are, you know, so you're yeah. watching the TV version. It's a rated R movie. Yeah, I was watching the TV movie. Yeah, plot's still the same. Yeah, but watching same. rated R movies on TV, regular TV, is never that fun. But it's cable. I mean, is it going to be that different? For like, it's like how much? How much? I mean, I guess it'll get rid of like the gore, cursing, and nudity. So if you don't care about that stuff, oh, is there nudity in Deadpool? Yeah. Oh, maybe I will watch the R-rated movie then. <laughs> who, who who gets naked in it? Deadpool. <laughs> uh, I don't even know who does. Um, the uh, but like he's like he can't be killed. He has he's like Wolverine. He has an insane healing factor. Well, at some point early in the movie, they referred to him being like he should have been in the X Men. And I was like, is he supposed to be part of the X Men? So I looked it up, and they saw that they said he has the insane healing factor that Wolverine has. If they're like unkillable, what's the point of the movie? Well, that's why I, when I read all of my X-Men comics, I delete all the Deadpool and Wolverine issues. Yeah. Because if they're invincible, there's no point. Yeah, Mark. It takes all the fun, yeah. <laughs> it takes all the fun away if they're invincible. Like, there's no intrigue. Also, the action scenes were so... like they're, Every action scene is slowed down. And they do all these like special effects. It fucking sucks. <laughs> I really miss like the, the scenes from like, Die Hard. Where like, the, the scene... It, like, it, like, at least the fighting scenes look kind of real. They didn't slow everything down. Mm-hmm. It, was, it used to movies. I know it's like an old, old fogey by saying that, but the movies used to be better. The fighting scenes used to be better. These all these special effects and scenes are just worse. Yeah. You like them better now, or you you think this stuff like the the Matrix ruined movies basically? Um, I think it looks cool if it's done right, but if if not, it can look really cheesy. It just gets too cheesy for me. You guys, have you guys, uh, 
Have you guys were you guys into Harry Potter? No. Never if, read a page, never saw a second of the movies. I saw DJ? the first I never read the book. I saw the first five movies and I hated all of them. Wow, you really stuck with something you hated. Well, it was because it was at the time where I was single, and every time I started dating a girl, they'd be like, oh, I want to see the new Harry Potter. I'd be like, well, I didn't like the last one. And she'd be like, oh, well, the, the new one's so much better than the last one. And then I'd watch it, and I didn't like it. And then wash, rinse, repeat. It happened like with four different girls over the course of five movies. Were you on like a Harry Potter dating site? <laughs> All <laughs> girls love Harry Potter. Um, so I, I've... I, I, someone had told me it was a really it's a fun thing to like read the book with your kid, mm-hmm. um, and so I was gonna I we I think I'm gonna watch the Harry Potter movie the first one with my son this weekend, and then we're gonna read the book. Um, I've never seen them, I've never read them. I was wondering if I'd actually I'm wondering if I'll actually like the movie or just like get bored on my mind. I hate it. It's two and a half hours. Is there any way we can start the movie like an hour in? Like two and a half hours is a fucking long movie. It started like seven movies in. Holy shit. Anyway, so we're, I want to watch Harry Potter and see what I think. Well, I want to watch Harry Potter with him, and hopefully he gets he's into it. So we'll like. We'll... Couldn't you be like a normal dad and try and get your kid into Star Wars or something? Yeah, Solo next week. Is I mean, that supposed to be good? It's going to be better than Harry Potter. Like, what the fuck yeah. is wrong with you? I well, maybe like I'll be like, hey, son, this will get you girls love to go see Harry Potter in the movies on their dates. So that's what you'll be doing in fifteen years when you go on dates. I'm uh, pretty sure the Harry Potter fad will be well over by then. I no, I, I'm up for watching Star Wars with him. I think he, uh, I think my my father-in-law showed him the first Star Wars. And he was kind of bored. I, I don't think he's old. He might not be old enough to really get into Star Wars. Well, Harry Potter sucks. That's all I know. <laughs> uh, well, there's no also there's no Star Wars book attached to it. I want to do some reading with it. Okay, whatever. Uh, Eris writes. Uh, guys, Muse is the best band alive. I saw them live, and holy shit, those guys are talented. And I've never seen so many sexy European girls. Mm. Okay. I don't know who they are, but they're probably not the best band in the world. I, I've listened to a few Muse albums. The I, I find the lead singer too whiny. It's like is very. That your, is that part of your review on J Love Music? Um, I could review one of those albums. I am starting a, a music review website called J Loves Music. Um, um, totally different than J J Loves Cock. That that's where he reviews uh, porn. But the um, <laughs> totally different from Bry hates movies. <laughs> so the um, the lead singer sounds a lot like the guy from Radiohead. So, hey, so remember, that year, remember that year when everybody thought Radiohead was the greatest thing in the history of the world? It's still that year. Everyone still thinks oh, that. Oh God. Remember when Radiohead like started releasing really shitty albums that people said declared the greatest thing ever? And it's still happening? Yeah. Like they're like, Yeah, you listen to Kid A? I mean it's unlistenable trash, but it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, when I was in college I went to like a, a music conference and after the conference it's like um, if you stick around we're gonna show a, a video of OK Computer and there was like a standing ovation. I was I could not get out of there fast enough. I mean, they used to also sing normal stuff, and then like it went like completely shitty. But the rest of the world was like, "This is amazing." Well, if you like the way that the Radiohead guy sings, you will love Muse. I've heard a couple, a couple of their songs. I haven't been like, I mean, they're fine, but like, I haven't really been like blown away. Muse or Radiohead? Muse, Muse. I mean, oh, Radiohead okay. also I've heard, but I'm saying Muse. Like I've heard like a couple of their songs. Like they're fine songs, but like I don't. Yeah. Uh, Liam writes. I like guys, Knights of Sidonia. That's about it. Uh, yeah. Guys, I promise this is the, f- the most funniest five second clip you will ever watch. Um, which is not that helpful because I can't even play this. <laughs> and I'm not watching it. Um, let me play it on here. This video is unavailable with restricted mode enabled. To view this video, you'll need to disable restricted mode. No, oh, thanks. I, I put restricted mode on YouTube because I for my son. My, for my son playing with his computer so uh jay unless you want to uh play it on your end sure um let me see. okay here we go but we can't hear it right right but uh it'll or show it. up it'll show up in the show it's five seconds long why you just tell us what happens okay wait the sh- it works in the show we just can't hear it right 
Oh, God. I'm working on fixing it. Okay, hold on a sec. It's six seconds. I'm going undercover as a woman to find out what they go through every day. I discovered that women are called faggot a lot. <laughs> so it's, it's a guy in a dress, and he says, I'm going undercover to find out what women deal with every day. And the next clip is him at night, and it says, I've found out that women get called faggot a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's a pretty good one, actually. <laughs> uh, good job. That's pretty good. Um, Liam writes, guys, uh, where can we go to have sex with women? I heard Dominican Republic is awesome for that and safe. No way as men do I think Mark is. Uh, okay with being the with the same there's no way no way as men do I think Mark is okay with being the same one with the same woman for so long. He he will develop fetishes. It's not healthy. Does does us men to be without women for so long or else we with all begin to turn to to Steven. Huh? It's uh I, it's good we got a question like that because I've never heard one like that asked before. <laughs> I don't understand how people listen to our show if they can't write like normal sentences. <laughs> Maybe we're like you know the, when immigrants come over they learn English by watching TV like they're learning English English by listening to our show. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So uh, Dominican Republic is to go. Like, would you go to Dominican Republic to try to get like say you were single? Would you go there to try to get laid? Does that seem like a good idea? Seems like a poor idea. Yeah. I mean, the, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't seem like I... I yeah. Um, Liam writes, uh, Jay, you went to... Uh, well, here's a question. When you were in... The, you went to Thailand and went to Japan, right? Yeah. Were the, are the women there, are they into, like, white men? Uh, some are, yeah. Do, like, any, any girls, like, kind of, like... Look you over, or like uh, hit on you. Um, you can just pretend that that it happened. Well, no, when, when <laughs> I was when I was in Japan, there there were a, a couple, one group of girls yelled "cute." Nice. So uh, they, they, uh, some of them do like. And you're having panic attacks. I mean, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, you, I guess I was say, like, you'd want to go somewhere where like the white American look would be like stand out. Yeah. Uh, Liam writes. I had a friend who recently visited India. Uh, he said it was a shithole. That's well, the end of the question. The, the doc went to <laughs> India and he agreed. I asked how uh, it was. He was there for like a month. I asked how it was, and uh, the only thing he said is it's really dirty. Um, that it was a shithole, and that he hasn't never seen such a divide between rich and poor people, uh, literally shitting on the sheets, streets. Well, it's kind He's of never like been a, a Tim Hortons. <laughs> exactly. He said it's due to there being so many people and lack of jobs, uh, which makes me wonder how the hell is Mark for immigration? Uh, more people coming here does not equal more jobs just because just people needing jobs without there being job openings. Why is Mark so crazy about making the world harder? Does any, is any question directed at Jay or Bry? Uh, why is Mark so crazy about making the world harder for his children? It's not like he's leaving them millions of dollars since he has nothing invested. They will have to work 50 hours a week, also not to mention compete with artificial intelligence robots, which will replace lots of humans. Amazon LLC is uh, coming for all of us. I want to meet all these Americans that lost all their uh, delivery and landscaping jobs to immigrants. <laughs> Um, I also think like India is a country that's like super corrupt. Where like there's a bunch of rich people who have like much more than even here. Like they have all the money, and then everyone else has nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I don't think the U.S. is quite as bad. I mean, like it's U.S. is shitty about it's like, like getting there pretty quickly. Yeah, I mean, that's every two more years. That's the Republican model for the for the country. I went to India. It was wonderful. The poor people were like kept like we, they, they were kept in like cages away from us. <laughs> uh. Martin writes, do you think assholes who are not aware that they are assholes are happier people? Absolutely. Ignorance is bliss. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you think you're a... So I think certain... I think some people are naturally optimistic, um, and other people are naturally... And other people are bright. 
<laughs> I have to say, and, and then there's Bry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I think the three of us are all more on the pessimist side of things. Yeah, that'd be right? fair to say. <laughs> I yeah, think that's very fair to say. Like, do you think? And I think people that end up being more successful in life are people that are just naturally optimists, and that's why they they don't realize that like what they're doing is going to not work out, so they they do it. Like a Mark Zuckerberg is probably an optimist, and like just like want for stuff because he's just naturally like an optimist. Could be. Like our nat- I, I I feel like if you're if you're just if you can make if I can make my kids optimists, which I don't know if you really can. I think it's some, it's probably more of a gene- genetic like chemical makeup thing. But if you're more of an optimist, then life works out better for you. Do you have like some like side bet where how many times you're going to say the word optimist in this show? <laughs> <laughs> you're like shoehorning it in like every other word. Have I done it before this question? No, but you just said it a lot in this question. Yeah. Um well, I was just wondering about the asshole. Like, if you like, there are people who are optimists who uh, don't. I said it again. Uh, who aren't aware that their ideas are shitty, so they go for stuff. I mean, probably a lot of times it doesn't work out. Also, but it worked out for Optimus Prime. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Rosera right until the movie. <laughs> yeah, until the movie. Uh, Jason, Spoiler I want to play from the '80s I... cartoon show. <laughs> I want to play games. What happened to Optimus Prime? I don't remember. He died, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was okay. like the saddest moment of my childhood. Um, we had to deal with Hot Rod. Rodimus Prime. Yeah, Rodimus Prime. He wasn't that good. No. They got rid of Jason. him real quick. Mark, Jason, you don't want to do the rest of the show in the Transformers movie? Jason, I want to play games with P- with Pug... Pug? Pug player, guy? Player, player Unknown Battleground. What? Wow. Uh, and Fortnite multiplayer games. Which uh, game con- console should I buy? PlayStation or Xbox One? For multiplayer, PlayStation Xbox has slightly better multiplayer, but PlayStation also has way better games. So go with PlayStation. Fort, what is Fortnite? Because I've heard that term a lot recently. Uh, F- Fortnite is a Fortnite's a multiplayer multiplayer like I don't know, like basically like a bunch of people in a room shooting each other. Okay, it's like every other damn game. Yeah. Um, and what is Pug, Pug Player, Player on Battleground? Yeah, what is that? It's a bunch of people shooting each other. Okay, so they're both games in which you somehow like they're both like versions of James Bond, basically. Yeah, but they're like they're more like open world. Like you can go anywhere in like a landscape instead of like a, a tiny closed arena. Okay, but I mean, it's, they're like they're take off. They're the same idea, of James Bond. Just to understand, like, yeah, or yeah. James Bond and Halo, just like a different way to do it, basically. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rosera writes, did, Brian, do you play any of those games? No. Uh, Rosera writes, how do you guys react when your woman farts or leaves the bathroom smelling like shit? Uh, Rosera writes, Jason. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so was passing the CPA worth it? What are your yeah, what are the oh future? you passed it? <laughs> Apparently, Rosera Rosera is asking a question from the future. <laughs> uh, what are the future plans now? Um, are you the vice president of Chase Manhattan yet, or at least flushing savings bank? Can we move on? Okay, Jason writes, guys. Um, I am watching Cobra Kai on YouTube, and wow, what a nice, cool series! I heard it was very good. So Cobra, that's the new Karate Kid, right? Yes. It's on YouTube? YouTube Red. The fuck is... That is the pay version of YouTube, but you can get the first couple episodes for free. Okay. Because they have to get entice people to do it, right? Yes. So it's Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, YouTube Red, Apple, I think, has a service also. Like, all the shows are in fucking different places now. This is so much better than just having everything on cable. We said this like five years ago that this was going to happen. Oh, what a fucking terrible idea is all this. Liam writes, where is the episode? Uh, Yusuf writes, hey guys, did you end up recording last night? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I should have I read that before I read that. Uh, Yusuf writes, how do you guys feel about the sports betting ban being lifted in the USA? I live in England where you can pretty much bet on anything, and I find it odd that in all of, of all places it hasn't been legal in the States. Love the show. Keep up the great work, guys. Thank you. So, yeah, you can shoot up whoever you want, but don't bet on a sporting event. 
Well, because we're we're a country that we, all these religious Christian morals about like we have to we have to, we have to eliminate sin, but like to, at the same, same time with the most we have all these fucked up values. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, yeah, Pete Rose should be in the Hall of Fame now. Oh yeah, dude. That's what the, the Supreme Court should have said. Pete Rose goes in the Hall of Fame. We're done with that. And then, uh, and the force betting is legal. Like that should have been part of their decision. M- mark this down. Jay made a baseball reference on the show. Mm-hmm. That was pretty good. So, so, what do you think? So, baseball. So it's so right now. For those that don't know, the Supreme Court said there was a a law that Congress had passed in 1992 banning sports betting, and Congress has said that law is unconstitutional now. And so, it gives the right for every state to legalize sports betting if they want. It's basically a state. It's a state thing now. So, mm-hmm. New Jersey is going to legalize sports betting. And you can other thank states, Chris Christie for that. He was in. He was uh, best thing he's done. The best thing he did as governor. Or, yeah. Like, yeah. And apparently, uh, I was listening to a show something about this, and a guy, the guy, one of the guys who runs the big, one of the big sports books in uh, in Las Vegas, said pretty much you got a call from people in like every state asking them how to how to how to do how to do this basically. Mm. So it's coming. It's probably coming to most states. Are you guys, are you guys happy about this? Sad about this? I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Brian, you have to be excited. You you love gambling. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go for negative six thousand dollars in my bank account. Mohegan Sun's going to have to build a, a new area for their sports book because they don't really have a room for it at the moment. I, I'm sure they fucking will. <laughs> um, I'm kind of like I I'm hoping I can just make bets on my phone. Yeah, I ho- I hope it's online. Like I hope you could do it. However you could do it, I hope you could do it online. Yeah, I mean, I think like. They're saying for doing it online, like New Jersey, like they, they, they're going to make it so you can only you have to be in New Jersey to make the bet. Right. But I'm sure New York will legalize it also. Guess who has 1,800 shares of sports betting cryptocurrency? Um, There's a sports Bri? betting cryptocurrency. Is Bri the answer? <laughs> who's, who's the answer, Jack? <laughs> what 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 is the sports betting cryptocurrency? That's the, the Mark Cuban one. Oh, okay. That that's is that that's a, well, Jay, did it go up upon the Supreme Court decision? Uh, no, but it hasn't been, like, <laughs> what well, hasn't no, been implemented No, but yet. I'm just telling you. You know, people will probably, were, like, in, like, stocks usually move up when, like, major decisions happen like that. This is not going, maybe it's not going to go up. No, I, I think it just hasn't been implemented yet, so it will go up. Why don't, instead of gambling with Mark Cuban coins, why don't they use real money? Quicker transactions. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Money, you still got to wait for it to clear out of the bank and all that garbage. Don't Bitcoin transactions take, like, forever? Yeah, but Bitcoin yeah. sucks. Okay. The other uh, coins are way quicker. Bitcoin's, like, one of the slowest coins out there. Yeah, it's like the turtle. I got the hair coin. Uh, I'm, I, I feel like I'm going to... I'm totally going to do more gambling. No, you're not. Because I, I think I'm... No, no, I totally, like... If it's this easy to make a bet, like I don't have a local bookie, but if I I wouldn't mind betting twenty bucks on the Nick game tonight. Would you really them. do that? I feel like I would do it a little more. I feel like you say you would, but then you'd be like, but then I'd spend twenty bucks, and then you wouldn't. I, yeah, no, I mean I'm cheap and all that, but uh, I don't know. It's the, the one day fantasy leagues. I'm just not. Into, I don't want to pick all the players and spend all the time on them. But if it's one game I can watch, I feel like I feel like it'd be different. Yeah, I mean, we could make a lot of money just betting against the Knicks every night. <laughs> every night, every fucking night. The uh, supposedly also like I guess in England and other places they have the, the, a big thing is in-game betting. They have a uh, remember oh, that? Yeah, uh, I, I bet on a website. Yeah, you could bet like you could watch a game and it's the first person, first team to tw- like if it's a soccer game, who's going to get the next goal? If it's basketball, uh, you know, first team to thirty for baseball game, you could. You can bet like the next inning, like what's the third batter gonna do? Strike out, hit, walk. That could be kind of fun. Do you remember Jay? Did there was the uh, what was that site that wanted to partner with our Knicks podcast? Yeah, the Firefox or something. like yeah, that. Yeah, they were trying to get like they were trying to do like like not really gamble, but like gamble at the same time. This is the real thing's coming now. Yeah, I'm sure that that, that I'm sure they were like, oh great, there goes our business. <laughs> um, but Jay, do you, do you think you would do more gambling? If you could do it on your phone, you could make bets on like, like you could bet on the uh, the Cavs uh, Celtics game. Yeah, definitely, because there's times where I've actually tried and it's like blocked in th- our state. So like I've I've tried to and not been able to. So how, how do you how do you try to? Uh, 
I don't know, I went to some sports betting site because I felt really good about a game and it was blocked. Also, like um, uh, a poker site, too. I tried to play online poker for money and I couldn't deposit any money because it's not allowed in New York or it wasn't. Yeah, all those things I wouldn't be as into. I'm not that into playing poker. I'm not into like a... But this, if it was so simple I could make the bets online, I feel like I probably would do a little bit of gambling on uh, on games. Not to like... not. Not that that would like that would prove that would, not, that would be a good thing for my like my family, but I think I would get more into it. My uh, my old my old roommate is so good at poker. He paid his rent for like two straight years on his poker winnings. Wow! I lived with him. He'd have a laptop open with like five games going at once, and just my, like, uh, make a few hundred dollars right there. My stepbrother had this friend who I met like a number of years ago, who basically would just like. Basically, go like live like you go live in like South America for like six months. Go live in other other places that had like more e- easier rules for like uh for online gambling, and he just made a living playing poker online. And apparently, like he said that uh his parents were really mad at him. Then then he started making a lot of money, and they were like, "Okay, do whatever you want." <laughs> and he said he meets he meets people in the online poker community, and then like he'll go like live with them or stay there or there or like hang out with them in like a different country for a few months. That's crazy. Yeah, I was like, "Wow, it's a different life." Yeah, it sounded, it sounded kind of cool. Um, but then again, I, I just don't—I don't think I'd ever have the patience to sit there and play poker that much. That's the problem. You have to devote a lot. Of, I mean, some of those games could go on for hours and hours. No, I mean to be really good at that, you have to be someone that's playing that like ten hours at a time. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a different job. But if you're really into that, it's great. Like, um. Jason writes, last question. Uh, guys, my girlfriend for the past five years has gained weight and is now getting skin tags all over her neck and armpits. What are skin tags? It's like um, fat deposits. Hey. Uh, I, I, I only get... know that because my 600-pound life came on the other day, and it was like these just sacks all over this woman, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? And That's what it was. Did the uh, did the uh, the host of the show just like throw up? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have you on the show so the, so our host can throw up, and that's the end of the show. Thanks for coming. <laughs> How do I get rid of them, or do I have to pay for a doctor? And have you guys dealt with skin tags, especially Jason, since he's the fat one? What the fuck? Sorry, I don't know. Jason, they, they say terrible things about me, so I'm reading everything. Okay, <laughs> I'm not like 600. But you don't get skin tags from being a couple pounds overweight. <laughs> Um, I don't believe this is a true question. <laughs> you don't believe they're all all these questions are true questions. <laughs> I feel like our listeners lie to us a lot. Oh my god. Um, so, Bri, would you be upset if your girlfriend uh, gained six hundred pounds and had skin tags all over her? <laughs> yeah, that one might be a deal breaker. But what if she was willing to shit in a Tim Hortons? <laughs> Hmm. Honey, I know how to win you back over. I like comedy, but <laughs> <laughs> only if she threw it, right? Yeah, she she throws like a girl. I don't. Yeah, that could like that could, like that could definitely just hit you accidentally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that Tim Hortons lady had an arm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that guy wasn't dodging that. You know, he got hit right in the head with that. that yeah, was like I kind of mile an hour shitball. Don't you want to see like, like I want a full documentary like uh, on this. I want to see, see what like I want to hear more about what his thought was going going through this. I definitely want to hear about their conversation. Yeah, I mean, if you think about like, they're like, would you would you rather have like audio of a secret like Donald Trump meeting with the Russians or this audio? Hmm. Trump. I don't know. I might, I might want the uh, Donald Trump will still be president. I'll just be angrier. Versus, oh. like, this is like a, this is shit. This is like what led to a woman shitting in a Tim Hortons and throwing it at. That I don't know. If the Trump audio leads to the P tape, then I need that. You know the problem with that? All that shit would still come out. The uh, again, no pun intended. Like you'd see him. Is it supposed to be him peeing on the str- the hooker or the hooker peeing on him? The hooker peeing on him. So it'll be a video of the hooker peeing on him. All his voters would be like, "That's just what guys do." I'm still voting for him. <laughs> like nothing will change. Sean Hannity will be like, yeah, who hasn't done that? Sean Hannity will be, yeah. Sean Hannity will be a whole thing about, like, he's a real man. He can get peed on. 
Pee makes you stronger. Yeah, exactly. They'll start selling like, like a uh, Russian, Russian, Russian hooker pee. Oh, Alex um, like, Jones be... will sell that in like two seconds. <laughs> yeah, they'll be one of their sponsors. <laughs> He's already got the bottles ready. Super pee uh, force. Yeah, nothing will change. And Alex Jones will have a whole thing about how like it wasn't really Donald Trump getting peed on, just like a double. Like it wasn't yeah. really pee. It was, and she, she was an actress, like pretending to pee. Yeah, crisis actress. Crisis, crisis actor. Act- yeah, yeah, exactly. Like it'll be this whole big thing, and you'll be like, "Holy! Now we're dealing with this, and now we're like the president's getting peed on on video. We all saw it, and we're all just gonna pre- just talk about it for a day, and then he'll do something else stupid, and we'll have to yeah. talk about that instead. And then he'll get reelected. Yeah. Yeah, it's still he'll still get reelected. Our country's so fucking backwards. I mean, there's a huge movement of flat earthers. We're just doomed. Yeah. No, that really... Uh, what's worse than flat earth? I mean, obviously people that like don't believe that believe like Sandy Hook didn't happen is worse. But like just more benign, not like... As far as just ignorance? Yeah. I, like not like something that's like just horrible. Like not like Holocaust denier. But something that's more like flat earth or... What, any, what else would be along the lines? Any religion? <laughs> yes. Yes. As long as people that believe in religion don't take over our country. You could have ended the show on that one, Jay. That was a pretty good one. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll be back. Uh, TheBrinkOfSanity at gmail.com. BrinkOfSanity3 on Twitter. BrinkOfSanityShow.com and Patreon.com slash TheBrinkOfSanity. And if you want Brink of Ass Jeans, uh, send Jay money. Uh, mm-hmm. You can do that through Patreon for as low as a dollar a month. What oh, episode is this? 298. Wait, it's not 297 part two? No. Okay, well. I fine. mean, this is like a. This, is, this episode's longer than the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is the mini episode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this mini episode's 20 minutes longer than the last one. So it's probably like better, better than the last one, too. I think so. I think yeah, so. probably. But since we don't get any feedback unless it's yelling about Steven, we'll never know. If anyone wants to give us feedback, could you please focus on um, nude information, informational videos? All right. We'll be back soon. Goodbye, everybody. Data